After all the configurations completed till the previous video, now we'll just proceed to create the GL accounts. Yes, now we are proceeding to create the GL accounts. The activities which we perform is, the first activity would be like, we create the different GL accounts using the T code F. S00 and the second activity would be post the entries to GL account. Then we view the GL accounts in line item report in T code FBL3N. So what is the T code for that? It is FBL3N. So guys, let's start with the creation of GL accounts. As you know already, all my master data and business transaction are done in SAP Easy Access screen. From the SAP Easy Access, let's go to accounting. Where we have to go? We have to go to accounting and then financial accounting, their general ledger, then master records, then comes the GL accounts, then individual processing and here you will see the three options. Can you see the three options? Yes. What are those three options? That is FS00, that is centrally, FSP0, that is in chart of accounts and finally FSS0, that is in company code. So first, let's learn on this FS00, that is centrally. So what I'll do is, I'll just double click on this FS00. Your screen will look like this if you are a first time user. So now what we'll do is, we'll just create the GL account from this screen, okay? There is also another screen which shows even more information. So we will create there as well at the later time, okay? We'll, we'll just create there also, but in the later time. Now, uh, we need to create the four GL accounts under each account group. That is one GL account in each of the account group. That is assets, liabilities, income and expenses. So now let's start with assets. So what is the range that I have given for the asset account? So now what we'll do is let's open our old configuration window in another screen. To do that, what we have to do? Enter the T code as slash O S P R O. So now this will open the SPRO screen in the new window. What I'll do is I'll just click SAP reference IMG, then financial accounting, general ledger accounting, GL accounts here, master data and here uh, click on this define account group and finally here click on the position button. Can you see the position button over here? Yes, you click on this position and now enter your now observe the account range given for the asset account group. It is 129999. Please make a note of this. We have given a range, account range for this asset account group is 129999. Now let's switch to our other SAP window where you were trying to create the GL account. Okay. Now here enter the GL account as 1 and company code as ABCC and just press new button. The window will automatically enter the create mode. What happened? The window just automatically entered the create mode. Here you select the account group as assets. Now select whether it is a P&L statement account or the balance sheet account. For this case, select as balance sheet account since uh, the assets come under the balance sheet account. Okay. Now enter the short text and the long text as bank account. One of the account used under the assets. Now click on the control data tab. Can you see this? You just click on this control data tab in the screen and uh, select the checkbox here. That is only balances in local currency. Can you see this only balance in local currency? Yeah, you just have to select this checkbox. And now select the checkbox of line item display. Can you see the line item display over here? Yes, you have to select the checkbox of this line item display too. We use the settings to view the report based on line items. That is T code FBL3N. What we are doing, we use the settings to view the report based on the line items by using T code FBL3N. If I do not mark this checkbox, then I won't be able to use the T code FBL3N and will be able to view only the balance that is FS10N. So if you are not sure about FBL3N and FS10N, then we will see this later in the section. So don't worry about it now. Okay. 
In most of the cases, we always mark the line item display. Uh, but in some cases, especially for the reconciliation accounts for the customer or the vendor accounts payable or the accounts receivable, we do not select this line item display because there will be billions of records under this accounts and result in performance issue while downloading the reports. So we do not select this line item, guys. Okay. Next, you have the sort key. When I am generating the FBL3 and reports in which way the line items are sorted in the report is always decided by the sort key. Commonly, we use the posting date or the asset number here. In this case, I'll select the posting date. What I'll be selecting is the posting date. Now, just go to create bank interest tab. Here, you assign the field status group. Guys, remember that field status group manages the fields for GL posting. Do you remember that? I've said before also, field status group manages the fields for GL posting. So, for the bank GL account, it is G005 and for all general GL account, it is G001 and for reconciliation account, it is G067. You'll just remember these three, okay? You learn more when you start using this SAP FI module. Don't worry about it, okay? These are standard. We do not modify unless required by the business. Yes, remember this. These are the standard things. We do not modify unless required by the business. So assign the field status group as G005 as this is for the bank GL account. Now, always remember to select relevant to cash flow while creating for the bank or cash account. Always remember to select relevant to cash flow while creating for the bank or the cash account. It is very important. Okay. So these three tabs are very much important. Other tabs like keywords or translations, information, information company code, it is not much in use. So don't worry about it. Now, what I'll do is I'll just save it. Now, a GL account under assets is created. Yes, we have just created a GL account under assets. If you observe in this screen in SAP, we are unable to display the account group and its respective GL accounts under it. So, to display the respective account group and the GL accounts under it, what we have to do? We need to change how SAP is displaying the data in our screen. Yes, we need to change how SAP is displaying the data in our screen. So, to change the view, what we have to do is we have to go to settings in SAP screen. Okay, we'll just go to settings in SAP screen. Here, select the hierarchy display. Select this hierarchy display and this will open the navigation tree window. Can you see this navigation tree window? Yeah. Here, select the display accounts in navigation tree. You just have to select this display accounts in navigation tree and hit enter. Done. Yes. If you observe, now you will get the pop-up saying that new settings will be reflected once you restart the transaction. Okay. Now what you have to do is you have to just click OK. That means come one step back. You have to just come one step back and double click on this FS00. What do you have to do? You have to double click on this FS00. A new view is displayed for creation of GL accounts. Okay, now in the new view, you can now see as assets, correct, right? You can now see as assets. This is the account group, not the GL account. Yes, this is the account group, but not the GL account. If I expand the account group, I can see the GL account, that is bank account, which we just created. So from this screen view also, I can create the GL account. What I'll do is I'll just click on this create button. And now I'll enter the new GL account number and the company code. This time, let's create the liability account uh, in account and liability. That is account group. Okay. Switch your another SAP window to refer to the GL account range for the liability account group. It is, if I observe, uh, it is one followed by four zeros to one followed by four nines. That is one zero 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 two one nine 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 nine. Now switch back to your previous window and enter the account number as one zero 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 zero. That is one followed by four zeros and just hit enter. Yes. Now, I will set the account group as liabilities. Okay, I'll set the account group as liabilities. 
I will set it as a balance sheet account as it's one of the account used under the liability. Now I'll enter the short text as capital account. Okay, what I'll be doing is I'll just enter the short text as capital account. In the same way, I'll maintain select only balances in local currency and select the line item display and sort key 001 in control data tab. So in create bank or interest tab, can you see this create bank or interest tab? Yes, in this tab, I'll mark the field status group as G001 as it is general GL account and I'll just save the GL account. So now after saving on the left hand side of the screen under liability account group, I can see another GL account being created that is capital account. Next, I'll create another GL account for income that is under the income account group. For that, I'll click on this new button and open the previous session of SAP to refer the range of accounts under the income account group. Okay, so now enter the GL account as 20000 that is 2 followed by 4 zeros and and just hit enter and now select the account group as income. What you have to do? You have to select the account group as income. Now select the type of account as profit and loss account. See here, select the type of account as profit and loss account and uh, short text and long text as commission received as it's one of the account used under income. So in the control data tab, can you see the control data tab over here? Yes, and in control data tab, you do not have to select this only balance in local currency. Why we don't do that? Why we don't select that only balance in local currency? Guys, this you will understand when I make the posting. So for now, don't worry about it. Now what you have to do is you have to select the line item display. Okay, line item display that is sort key 001. Now in create bank or interest tab, assign the field status group as G001 and save the GL account. Okay, save the GL account. Now the GL account under income group has been created. Now what we have to do is we need to create one more account. Correct, right? We need to create one more account that is under expenses account group. So again, click on the new button. Here what I'll do is I'll enter the account number as 30000. That is 3 followed by 4 zeros by referring the range that I had maintained before. Okay, and I'll just enter the company code as ABCC and I'll hit enter. Okay, now select the account group as expenses. What you have to do? You have to select the account group as expenses and select the type of account as profit and loss. What is the type of account? It is profit and loss. Short text and long text as salary paid as it's one of the account used under the expenses. In the control data tab, you don't have to select only balance in the local currency, but here you have to select the line item display and sort key to 001. Now in create bank or interest tab, assign the field status group as G001 and just save the GL account and just save the GL account. Now the GL account salary paid under expenses account group has been created. So in total we have created four GL accounts under each individual account groups. So during the creation you can also copy the details from one GL account to new GL account. Yes you can also do this. You can also copy the details from one GL account to new GL account it's by excluding the descriptions. For that select the GL account which you want to copy. Right click on it and click on copy. Then you need to enter the new GL account. So here I'm copying the account under expenses. So I will give the account number as 300001 and enter. I'll change the short text and the long text as rent account as it's one of the account used under the expenses and all the other configuration will be copied. Okay, all the other configuration will be copied and what I'll do is I'll just save it. We'll just save it. 
okay in real time projects that is during implementation we do not manually create the gl accounts one by one yes we do not do that we upload the data into sap using lsmw yes we upload the data into sap using lsmw tool that is legacy system migration workbench this will be separate technical team who are called as data uploading team they will upload your transactional data and master data so for now we have created the gl accounts now let's post some transaction in sap as end user to explore more in sapfi